Well, uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming to the briefing at this Foreign Press Center of Japan. Today, we are very honored by the presence of His Excellency, uh, Mr. Ichita Yamamoto, Minister of State for Science and Technology Policy. The title of the briefing today is Abenomics and the Recent Development of Japan's Science, Technology, and Innovation Policy. In today's briefing, we will first ask uh, Mr. Yamamoto to make brief uh, a brief statement in the English only. It will be followed by the question and answer session. In the question and answer session, Minister Yamamoto will answer to your questions in Japanese, and this, his answers will be interpreted into English. Uh, today's uh, interpreter we have is uh, Miss Mariko Nagai. She will be with us soon from the Saimal International. Before we listen to what Minister Yamamoto has to say, I would like to ask all of you, as usual, not forget to turn your cell phones to the silent mode. So, Minister Yamamoto, please. Um, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ichita Yamamoto, and I am the Minister of State for Science and Technology Policy. Um, I am very honored and delighted uh, to be here uh, making a presentation on Japan's science and uh, technology policy. At the outset, I'd like to talk about this year's World Economic Forum annual meeting where I attended in Davos. There, as a panelist, I participated in a session titled New Energy Context and concluded 21 bilateral meetings and hearings with prominent figures, including a minister, CEOs, executives from major corporations from around the world. Uh, I also attended uh, the opening plenary session where Prime Minister Abe uh, made the <coughs> keynote remark. I am sharing uh, this with you because Davos made three important impressions on me. First, I realized that Japan received considerable attention in Davos this year. Obviously, Abenomics already attracted the interests of many of the participants. However, I was particularly impressed uh, by the determination of Prime Minister Abe when in his speech he said he is likely, he is willing to uh, act like a uh, uh, drill bit, strong enough to uh, um, strong enough to break through the solid rock of vested interests. This made me and uh, others even more confident that it is really this administration uh, or never for Japan to revive. Second, I became keenly aware of the importance of communicating in English. If you want to get your messages across to the international community. And this is the reason why I decided to have a press conference today in front of you in this place. Uh, this year's Davos marked uh, the first time for a Japanese prime minister 
to not only deliver an uh, opening plenary speech, but to do it in English. I believe that Japanese politicians should take advantage of events like Davos to help the international community better understand Japan. Um, while um, it was not always easy for me to uh, to, to uh, conduct my sessions and uh, you know uh, meetings all in English. Uh, however, I believe that it was bet much better received and uh, uh, allowed for a more how do you say uh, uh, fruitful and uh, vibrant uh, uh, discussion. Um, uh, before a week, uh, uh, before a week, how do you say that? Uh, before a week, uh, well, in Davos meeting, uh, I presented a speech uh, in Singapore uh, titled uh, oh my God, are titled Asia's Prosperity and the Importance of Open Seas. Very sensitive topic. A uh, lecture uh, organized by the International Institute for uh, Strategic Studies, WIWS, am I right? WIWS. And um, uh, based on the dialogue I had, in Davos, uh, I was able to uh, reconfirm the importance of science and uh, technology and innovation policy as a pillar of growth strategy. Um, finally, I Reorganize is the English. We re, 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 uh, I uh, was uh, re recognized is the English. I was re recognized. How scary the in internet can be in Davos. Uh, well, it was amazing how almost everyone knew numerous details about me. Many knew that I am a singer-songwriter, a rock musician. However, one even knew that I used to work as a, a newspaper reporter in Fukushima. I was shocked because there are few uh, people in Japan even know this. So I have to say that Google is enemy. Uh, well, uh, I have to tell you, I have to confess that I had such a difficult time in Davos because I had to use a language which is very similar to English. But uh, I tried really hard because uh, uh, Mr. Uh, William Saito, a special advisor to the Minister of State and a good friend of mine, said, Yamamoto Daijin, don't worry, because the world common language is broken English. <laughs> well, I mentioned, I just mentioned the importance of um, uh, communication and uh, providing information in English. And in this vein, I would like to present to you my own web program called Chokkakko Stream. This is a live internet-based interview program uh, which takes questions from the general public. I like Nico Nico Doga, which is very innovative. Uh, well, uh, this program was 
uh, politically very dangerous. But, well, however, by the end of last year, I had invited all the incumbent ministers of Abe administration, uh, including uh, you know, Prime Minister Abe himself to my small studio uh, to have a, a serious and candid discussion with me. My uh, 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 ambition through this program was to be a catalyst in changing the mindset of Japanese people and political structure by introducing my activities as a politician and the status quo and uh, uh, problems surrounding Japanese politics. Uh, while all the initial interviews were done in Japanese, I have decided to translate and add English subtitles to whole uh, 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 conversation uh, and uh, broadcast them to the entire world. Such an ambition. Um, uh, so uh, I, well, this you know uh, uh, promotion video of, for for the show as well as uh, subtitled uh, uh, you know talk with uh, uh, Prime Minister Abe was also aired in during the Japan lunch and Japan events in Davos. Um, this is a, this is a you know, scene, and um, I uh, would also like to invite you uh, someday uh, to my small small studio and uh, appear in this program. And uh, well, in the meantime, I hope you can follow my blog and Twitter and Facebook. Through these connections, I can, you know, I hope to increase English communication. I know the time is very much limited, but I really want to show you this five minute promotion video, which was aired in Davos meeting, because as I said, I may invite some of you to my small studio in Ginkaikan. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, please be patient for five minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Chokako 3. <laughs> the name of the series is Minister versus Minister. Yes, I have 10 policy areas to cover. People call me the minister with 10 faces. I am in charge of ID policy, science and technology, Okinawa, the Northern Territories, space policy, the oceans, intellectual property strategy, and so forth. I only wish there were 48 hours in the day. However, as a politician, I feel so lucky to be given this great opportunity to work with Prime Minister Abe to revitalize Japan. Yes, I do think it is quite unique that a serving minister hosts live broadcast on the web. Moreover, I believe that there's no other program in the world like the special series Minister versus Minister in which one serving member of the Abe cabinet is invited as a guest for a live interview. Further, it was an epoch-making program. It is an interactive broadcast using Nico Nico Doga system in which the viewer's comments appeared in real time on the screen. It is politically risky to talk in a casual and live setting like this. However, the program got the highest rating for broadcasts dealing with politics. 
やっぱもう本当に私、皆さんに分かっていただきたいのは、まあ、総理が命がけで取り組んでいると、要はなんて言うんでしょうかねその、もちろんいろんな批判はあってもいいと思うんですが、もうあの傍観者じゃなくて、当事者になってもらいたいと、うん、やっぱ当事者になって、みんなで頑張らない限り、この国の経済、良くならないと、うん、ぜひ3本の矢をです、ねはい、最後まで貫き通していただきたいと思うんですけど、いかがでしょうか。もうはい、特にに山本さんには、はいはいカーグジュースね、はい、イノベーションあ,ありがとうございますわざわざ気を使っていただいて,て回っていて、はいはい、ここにも、えー、おまさに成長の,、はい、の種が、はい、イノベーションですイノベーションね、はい、ありますから、えー、突破力は山本下ですからね、はいはいえー、期待してますから、はい、The objective is to uncover the policies and personalities of the members of the ABE cabinet who are working to implement this historic mission of revitalizing Japan I believe that the viewers were able to appreciate firsthand not only the policies and the political philosophy of each of the ministers, but also to understand something about the personalities involved through the conversation and debates. It is not generally known that one minister actually cheated in the marathon race when he was in high school or that. Another minister wanted to be an artist when he was a little kid. So, yes, this program, you can see the human side of the cabinet members. That is the selling point of the program. I am so happy that I seem to have got my points across. The significance of the program is that the IT minister himself, me, was in charge of both planning and hosting the entire program. Abenomics has laid out the roadmap for the recovery of the Japanese economy. Promoting IT is a vital part of the growth strategy. We have high expectations of the benefits of making full use of big data and open source data and increased transparency in government and the politics. In that sense, you might be able to call this program the challenge of the ultimate open government policy. Of course, the Abe administration has to succeed. I truly believe that the viewers will believe in our ability to achieve success after watching the program. Last but not least, Japan is back. Well, thank you very much for being patient. I forgot to tell you that、uh, my talk with the Prime Minister Abe is now accessible uh, uh, via uh, my web page、uh, starting、uh, last week. Okay, so now I sit down. And、uh, now let me go back to my responsibilities as Minister. Besides science and technology policy, I am also in charge of a wide range of areas, including which you saw in this video Okinawa and Northern Territories affairs, space policy, information technology policy, ocean policy and territorial issues, and intellectual property strategy. My mission is to make the necessary coordination between and beyond the silos of relevant ministries to address. Important challenges in respective domains confronting Japan. With this portfolio, I am in charge of five headquarter functions of the Japanese government, including the Council for Science and Technology Policy or CSTP. In this sense, it is fair to say that I am playing a completely different role compared with past ministers of state of the cabinet office. As a member of the Abe administration, I am also expected to play a crucial role in promoting Abenomics, especially its growth strategy or third arrow. Switching to Abenomics, the greatest mission of the Abe administration is for the restoration of a robust economy. For this purpose, Three arrows for economic revival have now been shot. Since I myself am not in charge of economic policy, 
I will not go into the details of the first two arrows of Abenomics. However, Abenomics has already had a steady and positive impact on Japan's economy. Continuing to trend well, it is currently one of the world's best performing economies. Nonetheless, Japan continued growth depends on the third arrow of Abenomics, its growth strategy. To address this, the Japan revitalization strategy was formulated in June of last year. This strategy has very close links with the comprehensive science, technology, and innovation, or STI strategy, which was also endorsed that same June. The comprehensive STI strategy is comprised of a long-term vision and various immediate action programs. It is also a package of mission-oriented STI policies combined with budgeting, taxation, and D regulation. We are currently promoting the various measures along with the policy directions presented in the comprehensive STI strategy. The most important thing may be the reinforcement of the headquarter function for CSDP. This council is chaired by the prime minister and composed of relevant ministers, including myself and the executive members from academia and industry. With its headquarters function fully exercised, we have been promoting various measures across ministries to catalyze innovation while getting rid of barriers and silos amongst different ministries and sectors. To do this, we in CSTP also have three additional arrows to shoot. The first arrow is improving the process for policy making. We regularly hold science and technology budgeting strategy committee meetings where all director generals of relevant ministries gather. At these meetings, I have presented the direction of the Japan's STI policy and discussed how we can realize such a budget. Furthermore, we improved the mechanism which we will call action plans for S science and technology priority measures, a policy tool for budget prioritization. The second arrow is the establishment of a cross ministerial strategic innovation promotion program or SIP. Budgeted at 50 million yen, SIP aims to improve science, technology, and innovation through cross-ministerial collaboration, without which it would be difficult to address various important challenges. CSDP identifies the concrete challenges and initiatives to address such challenges. Program directors appointed by CSDP will conduct the required coordination between ministries. The third arrow is called IMPACT, an acronym for Impulsing Paradigm Change Through Disruptive Technologies. This program is actually the main topic of my presentation today. Before going into the details of the IMPACT program, I just would like to show you a graph. This graph shows that shows the transition of the total amount of science and technology promotion budget, which is the most relevant budget to promote science and technology. In the LDP, Liberal Democratic Party government, until 2009, the amount of the science and technology promotion budget had always increased year on year. Unfortunately, during the three years of DJP, Democratic Party of Japan, Lu, this budget was stagnating or had decreased. I really had a hard time to reverse this trend. However, by fiscal 2014, 
this trend was successfully reversed through the collaboration with relevant ministries as well as the aforementioned strategy committee. Now let me move on the impact program. First, I'd like to give you an overview. In the current diet session, a supplementary budget of 55 billion yen for the impact program was approved this month. The impact program aims to promote high-risk, high-impact R&D, whose result could lead to innovation and possibly revolutionizes numerous industrial and social systems. In a sense, I believe impact is a revolutionary program in the history of Japan's s and policy. It promotes R&D whose path for success cannot be foreseen. The genesis in designing the concept of the impact program was built upon the results of its predecessor, the first program. Let me take this opportunity to illustrate the highlights and lessons from the first program. The first program was initiated five years ago with a total budget of 100 million yen. It offered a very unique system to advance world-leading research carried out in wide spectrum of fields from basic research to r and topics leading to near future industrial applications. The goal of FAST was to gain the top leadership position in the world in a period of five years within each field. Thus, CSTP selected 30 top researchers with the highest potential from various fields and entrusted them with a research fund ranging from 1.5 billion yen to 6 billion yen. In fact, Professor Yamanaka of Kyoto University was supported by the first program in his Nobel Prize winning research in IPS cells. I'd like to introduce to you three interesting and exciting examples of successful research results due to the first program. First, Professor Sankai of Tsukuba University. Professor Sankai established cybernics, a new scientific field where neuroscience, motor physiology, robot engineering, information technology, and tissue engineering are fused together. This technology accurately senses potential signals from the brain while moving the human body and thus allowing machines to assist the human muscle. Cybernics realized HAL, the world's first cyborg type robot suit. With the help of HAL, a person who could not walk for 20 years was able to restore their ability to walk again. HAL will help realize both the dream of the handicapped persons in wheelchairs to stand on their feet again and to help alleviate the heavy labor of the nursing care in a rapidly aging society. The second example is of Professor Okano from Tokyo Women's Medical University. Professor Okano has succeeded in developing a novel treatment in regenerative medicine using a unique tissue engineering approach known as cell seat engineering. Cell seat engineering is already being used in clinical treatment of the cornea, heart, and esophagus. In fact, some patients who had only 30% heart functional functionality, after having their cardiac muscle cells transplanted, were able to gain complete heart functionality. Finally, the last example is Professor Kataoka from the University of Tokyo. Professor Kataoka was the creator of 
nanobio devices, which integrated the various functions of medical devices and drugs on a nanoscale through the cross-discipline help of medicine, pharmacology, and nanoengineering. This allows for a system to accurately diagnose and treat with minimally invasive, seamless medical care from very early diagnosis to curative treatment of cancer and other intractable diseases. Based on his discoveries, he can deliver anti-cancer drug to cancer cells without damaging the healthy cells. The greatest lesson learned from the first program is the importance of the fusion of close integration of different fields and the role CSTP played to promote it. First worked very well, especially into, in two areas. One is the creation of a fund instead of the single year budgetary cycle. The other is the research support it provided. When designing the impact program, the most important thing is the selection of competent program managers. The main idea here is to let researchers concentrate on their research while having the program managers produce like a producer in a blockbuster movie production. The impact program is modeled after the defense advanced Research Project Agency, or DAPA, of the United States. They, too, financially support high-risk, high-impact R&D, and where program management maximizes the capabilities of program managers. The results produced by DAPA program have been widely utilized in the civilian industrial sector and have made great impact on society. The internet, GPS, autonomous unmanned vehicles, agent software such as Siri have all been products of DARPA programs. The impact program aims to dramatically to improve the competitiveness of Japanese industry and address serious social challenges confronting Japan through the promotion of discontinuous and disruptive innovations. We do not, cannot, we do not, nor cannot decide on the project. We present the program managers only broad themes. The program managers themselves form hypotheses and consider whose contribution in which discipline is needed. Broader themes may be like, what should we do to make better living in an aging society? Or what should we do to establish a flex flexible and resilient system which enables people to cope with natural disasters and mitigate its impact? I'll give you two topics which might potentially be tackled by the impact program although these topics have not yet been considered by program managers. Medical checkup is a nuisance and is something depressing, thus having people avoid medical checkups. Some dogs are known to detect lung cancer with 90% accuracy by just breath alone. If that's the case, why can't we learn and utilize the function of a dog nose. What about installing a sensor in a smartphone and to detect cancer? If the dog up in the smartphone box, the owner would know it's cancer. Obviously, this kind of system would also be useful in detecting explosives and other hazardous materials. Another example is the development of unmanned aviation system. Such technologies can be utilized in various phases, such as in searching of missing persons, guiding 
evacuees and carrying relief su supplies without jeopardizing human pilots. With the establishment of the impact program, we aim to nurture the entrepreneurial culture by changing the mindset of researcher and inspiring the challenge spirit. Over what is called the Devil River, Shinokawa in Japanese, the Valley of Death, Shinotani in Japanese, the Darwin's Darwinian Sea, Impact will locate Japan's high-level R&D within the appropriate flow of technology development, commercialization, and industrialization. OK, this is me. I inframe the ch challenging spirit of the impact program. Go for it. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> we will then have more challenges coming up throughout Japan. Hubs for human resources are established while the entrepreneurial culture is nurtured. This will make for a virtuous circle, virtuous cycle. Prime Minister Abe mentioned in his policy speech for the diet session that we should encourage the challenge as failure itself will contribute to future progress, saying the worst is to do nothing for fear of failing. Well, thank you very much for your attention. And I would like to reiterate my hope to get connected with you on my blog, Twitter, Facebook, and Chokako stream, and continue this uh, discussion online. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Minister Yamamoto. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we will enter the question and answer session. We will receive questions from the foreign press people. Uh, if uh, you are appointed, uh, please uh, wait for a microphone. Then give us your name and affiliation before you ask your question with the microphone. I'm sorry, I talk too much. <laughs> no, we have only we 20 have, minutes. I think we have enough time for okay. questions and answers. Yes, the first question, please. Uh, Martin Kolling uh, with the German Financial Daily Handelsblatt. Mr. Um, Minister Yamamoto, yes. uh, please. Um, you mentioned the, uh, the essential role of the project manager, but could you elaborate a little bit on the uh, on the change that really happens here? Mm -hmm. I don't fully understand, basically, what is uh, the difference between the new system and the old system? OK, OK. Well, please allow me to use an interpreter, because uh, 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 utmost accuracy is needed as a minister, OK? Thank you very much for a very good question. あの、first program The first program that we had uh, uh, years ago was a program to assist a world class uh, 30 uh, top researchers. これ well, in our new impact program, what we do is to assist the, the uh, pro, uh, pro, uh, program managers who are playing the role like a producer who will uh, turn the high level research and development into commercialization and industrialization. Of course, amongst the excellent researchers, there are people who have the capability to become a, a very good managers or very good venture entrepreneurs. しかし我々は、え、高い研究開発のレベルを世の中を変えていくような、え、新しい産業の創出に結びつけるのは研究者自身ではなくて、え、様々なあ、能力を備えた、
、えー、プログラムマネージャーであるべきだと考えています。However, in our thinking,、uh, the person who actually translates at the high level of R&D into a commercialization and industrialization, which would really change the world, would not be the roles of the researchers themselves, but is the role of the program managers who are equipped with a variety of competence and abilities. アメリカの DARPA プログラムを参考にしています。So we take reference from the US program called DARPA. DARPA では歴代の DARPA の部長が研究を重ねてインターネットやあるいは GPS といった仕組みを生み出しました。Well, in the case, case of DARPA, the、uh, generations of、uh, uh, general managers、uh, who were doing the research uh, really uh, uh, produced uh, the uh, internet, uh, the uh, prototype of the internet and the GPS、uh, technology. インパクトを通じて作りたいと考えています。So our ambition is to create a virtuous cycle、uh, through this impact program so that the high level of technology innovation, research and development in Japan would turn into businesses, commercialization and industrialization. Thank you.、Uh, next question?、Uh, yes, gentlemen there. Yes, Dennis Normile of Science Magazine.、Um, one of the most attention getting proposals that has come out of the Abe administration is to create a、uh, Nihonban NIH.、Mm -hmm. Is that proposal coming out of.、Uh, are you. Does your office, your ministry, have any connection to that proposal? And. What is its current status? There, there has been complaints that,、uh, or some criticism that、uh, the budget is nowhere near enough to have much of an impact. And there's a lot of questions as to whether、um, the American NIH is really the right model for what Japan wants to do. Thank you very much for a very sharp, poignant question.、Uh, 私は歴代の内閣の担当大臣とは違う役割を果たしていると申し上げました。In my presentation, I said that uh, uh, my role、uh, is somewhat different from the past ministers in the past cabinets. それはいわゆる内閣府の司令塔機能を果たす組織が私のところに集まっているということです。The difference is that now,、uh, in my capacity, I have、uh, the collection of so called command center functions uh, uh, within the uh, cabinet uh, under my leadership. Innovation,、えー、それから宇宙政策、海洋政策、えー、それから、えー、知財戦略、えー、ともう一つなんだ宇宙、えあ、IT、ごめんなさい。ありがとうございます。IT 政策。Uh, こういったものはすべて私が担当しています。Well,、uh, as I said,、uh, science and technology, innovation, space policy, ocean policy, intellectual right protection, and IT policy, all of them come under my portfolio. 今、uh, おっしゃった、質問でおっしゃった、えー、NIH とは呼ばないんですよね。これなんて言ったらいいのかな。今、質問のあった組織については、これは私がの所掌ではなくて、えー、官房長官が、えー、トップを務める医療健康戦略室が担当しています。Now,、uh, your question, as、uh, you, you said, the Japanese version NIH, but we don't call it NIH. So I would say,、uh, regarding the organization that you uh, uh, mentioned in your question, it is not under my、uh, portfolio, but it is under the uh, uh, medical and uh, health uh, strategy uh, headquarters headed by Chief Cabinet Secretary. えー、Now, the CSTP that uh, I uh, coordinate and I lead,、uh, this, uh, the role of this、uh, organization is to have the、uh, overall comprehensive uh, uh, coordination regarding science, technology, and innovation as a whole. 
一種の司令塔機能を果たします。So the new organization, which is sort of proposed, will play a command center kind of function in the field of life science. ですから、私の担当する CSTP と、それからこの新しい組織の連携をしっかり図りながら、えー、科学技術イノベーションを進めていきたいと考えています。So CSTP, had, well、the the Another question from foreign journalists? Yes, there. there. I'm Sandy Dalton from the Seattle Times, and I have a question about earthquake science. In the United States, you can hardly get an earthquake scientist to utter the word prediction. But here in Japan, you have an agency with prediction in its name. So I'm curious, what do you think the prospects are for being able to predict earthquakes? Thank you for your question. えー、SIP、そしてインパクトといった科学技術イノベーションを,を進めていく、えー、仕組みでいろいろな、えー、分野のイノベーションを応援していきたいと考えています。Uh, I mentioned、uh, SIP as well as IMPACT. So,、uh, through such mechanisms and institutions for promoting science and technology and innovation, we would like to、uh, support the innovation in various fields.、えー、例えば、SIP では、えー、10の分野について、えー、プロジェクトダイレクターが決まっています。For example, under SIP, the、uh, 10 Project directors have been appointed regarding 10 areas. さまざまなプロジェクトが議論されていますが、現時点では今おっしゃった地震予知のサイエンスを応援するというアイデアは出てきていません。Well, various projects are being discussed and debated, but as of now, the science for the earthquake prediction that you mentioned in your program is not included in our debate yet. しかしながら、例えばインパクトにおいて、えー、防災に強い、えー、減災のためのさまざまな環境を創出するというコンセプトの中で、今おっしゃったような、えーえー、地震予知学に対する。サポートもあり得ると考えています。However, under the、uh, mechanism of impact, I believe that it is possible that we may be covering the earthquake prediction science if it is connected with creating an environment which is resilient against disasters or which would be very good for the prevention of disaster or good for mitigating the consequence of disaster. Thank you.、Uh, another question? Yes, the gentleman there. Swiss TV, Tom Stalder.、Um, thanks to promote Davos. My question is about science and technology in Fukushima.、Um, where do we stand now, three years after this accident, on the scale from zero to ten, and also connection, connected with this?、Um, how is the international cooperation in this science? Because at the moment it looks that Japan is doing its own way and doesn't accept help from foreigner, foreign countries. ありがとうございます。Thank you. 非常にセンシティブなので注意深く言葉を選びたいと思います。So you touched a very sensitive area, so I'll be extremely careful in choosing words.、えー、日本政府としては安倍総理も明言をしているように、この福島の原発事故の処理においてできる限りさまざまな意見を国際的に、えー、あの活かしていきたいというふうに考えています。The position of、uh, the government of Japan is, as、uh, clearly mentioned by Prime Minister Abe, we would like to、uh, make、uh, use or capitalize on various、uh, views from the international community as much as possible in connection with, the,、uh, in connection with how we handle Fukushima accident. やはり IAEA のような国際機関と連携をしながら
進めていくべきだという議論も行われています。For example, regarding the radiation detection or monitoring in the ocean,、uh, we, are, we have discussion、uh, as to the international organizations such as IAEA uh, uh, could, be,、uh, could play a role in monitoring various numbers of、uh, radiation detected in the ocean. I am a member of the ocean. I am a member of the ocean. えー、福島原発事故に対応して、えー、なん国際的なさまざまな知恵を生かしていないというご指摘は、えー、残念ながらあ正確ではないと考えています。Uh, this uh, question, uh, this uh, actual issue is outside my direct portfolio, so I will refrain from making any more concrete uh, reference uh, to uh, what you asked. Uh, but uh, regrettably, I have to say that、uh, your comment about uh, Japan uh, depending upon its、uh, unique ways of handling the accident and not resorting、uh, to views available from the international community is not correct. Also, I want to say that Davos meeting was so inspiring. Thank you so much. The next is Jobe.、Um, thank you very much. Joël Lejeune from RTL France Broadcasting. Welcome to the news uh, of uh, television. I was very impressed by your Chukaku stream.、Well, thank you, you were, so much. You, you, you are very Please come ganky. to my small office. I'll be delighted. So that you can talk about your view on Japanese politics. Are you Japanese sure?、Politics. Are you sure?、Yes. Okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to ask you a question about、mm-hmm. one of your responsibilities, which is Okinawa, if、mm-hmm. you allow me, as a member of the government. Yes. Yes. I'm curious to know what is your position on the latest event、um, related to the Henoko base and、uh, the Nago election of、mm-hmm. the new mayor who、mm-hmm. is strongly opposed to.、Mm-hmm. The relocation plan from,、uh, from Futema.、Uh, Mr. Minister, wha- what do you have to say? What is the future of the people of Okinawa on this issue? And don't you feel a confrontation possible? Okay. Again, thank you very much for your sharp and pointed question. I am a member of Okinawa, but I am a member of Okinawa. I am a member of Okinawa. Well, of course, Okinawa is under my portfolio, but to be more exact,、uh, my portfolio says、uh, promotion of Okinawa. Futenma no mondai wa gaimu daijin to boe daijin no tanto da to yukoto moshi ageta ue de watashi no kangai kata o hana shitai to mo imasu. With the proviso saying that the、uh, Futema issue is included in the portfolios of a foreign minister and a defense minister, I would like to uh, uh, refer to my own view. As a ministerial member of Abe cabinet, I am supportive of、uh, Prime Minister Abe's policy. えー、普天間基地の固定化を何としても回避しなければいけないということだと思います。Uh, what is important is、uh, to avoid uh, with uh, all possible efforts at、uh, the、uh, fixation, if you will, or、uh, the 普天間 base are becoming a fixed、uh, feature in the Okinawa situation. そのためには日米合意に基づいて、えー、辺野古に移設をしていくと。このプロセスを丁寧に沖縄の方々に誠実に説明をしながら進めていくと。えー、あのこれしかないと思っています。So possible, uh, is, uh, and, uh, 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 Possible for us to proceed. Nago s h o s e n k no Kekawa, Shimin no Katagata no Ish to Ste, Kitito Ketamakeba, I can I have to squarely accept the consequence of Nago mayor's election as the expression of the will of the citizens of Nago. Watashi no Tachiba, Senkyo no Kekani Kakarazu, Kitino Monday to a Betsno Jigende, Shinko, a Shinko to Ste, Kitito Yateku. Nazanara. 私は沖縄は将来、えー、日本経済のフロントランナーになる可能性を持っていると信じているからです。
So my position is irrespective of the consequence of the election uh, and uh, quite separate from the issue of the military base uh, per se, uh, my work is to proceed with the job of promoting Okinawa. I say this because I firmly believe that uh, Okinawa indeed has a potential to become the uh, front runner of uh, Japanese economy. Thank you. Uh I'm afraid that the minister may have to leave uh, in a few minutes, but uh, we will receive the last uh, question from foreign press. If there are no questions from the foreign, yes, uh, the lady there. Thank you, Elaine Kurtenbach, Associated Press. I believe that your portfolio also includes the uh, Northern Territories. Yes. So, as another economic frontier, if you could. Um, bring us up to date on the progress in resolving that issue. I'd be very grateful. Thank you. Again, thank you very much for your very pointed question. So I will respond to your questions having a very careful choice of words. The portfolio for having the diplomatic neg negotiation on the question of Northern Territories, of course, is under a foreign minister. My uh, portfolio is uh, the uh, domestic enlightening or awareness uh, activities uh, uh, within Japan on the question of Northern Territories, as well as uh, communicating uh, globally on questions on territory and uh, sovereignty issues. Japanese government position is unchanged. Uh, uh, that position is to uh, resolve the issue of the attribution of the territories and thus conclude peace treaty. Uh, I think this time round in Sochi, Prime Minister uh, Abe had the sixth summit meeting with President Sochi, if I'm not mistaken. I know that uh, the resolution of this issue is not an easy one, but the only way out for us is to continue our negotiation uh, with the Russian government with tenacity. Well, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, fifth. The uh, summit meeting with uh, President Putin was the fifth, fifth one in Sochi. So I'm afraid that we may have to close the session. But as Minister has pointed out, that uh, his office will be open for further uh, contact with you, and our center will be very happy to facilitate your contact with the Minister's office. So please do uh, let us know uh, your interest in uh, following up the, all the uh, uh, wonderful programs uh, under the Minister. Minister Yamamoto, thank you yes. very much.